Whenever the laws of any state are broken, a duly authorized organization swings into action. It may be called the state police, state troopers, militia, the rangers, or the highway patrol. These are the stories of the men whose training, skill, and courage have enforced and preserved our state law. officer's job of apprehending criminals is a difficult one. It is made even more difficult when the criminal is an intelligent craftsman, an expert at his brand of lawbreaking. Stanley Wright was such a man. His method of safe cracking was thorough and sensational. Highway Patrol, in trying to gather sufficient evidence to apprehend him, soon realized they were pitted against a strategist whose plans were thorough, whose rare ability at listening to a safe to open it left no clues, no guilt-revealing evidence. Snyder, the owner? I'm Ed Snyder. Matthews, Highway Patrol. How do you do, Mr. Matthews? How do you do? I don't understand it, Mr. Matthews. I opened it this morning, but the money just wasn't there. It had vanished. You're sure it was in there? Yes, I am. I put the day's receipts in there myself last night. Did you close the place? Yes, I did. I do every night. No sign of anybody breaking in? None at all. Even the safe works fine. The coins and papers are still there, but all the bills are gone. How much was in there? About uh, $350. Have the lab boys check it over. I don't think you'll find very much. Anybody else know the combination? Only my wife, but she doesn't have to steal it. I know what you mean. Thanks a lot. Thank you. You were dead to the world, so I didn't bother you. I didn't know you worked the early shift today. Early shift, late shift. What's the difference? It's all just as hard work. I hit the Snyder Marcus last night. Yes, I know. Did you get any more than you did over in Durham? No. It's a tough job, honey. It takes a lot of planning. And when we do hit it big, we want to be around to spend it. How much longer do I have to front for you in this monkey uniform? We got to have some obvious means of support. Yeah, I suppose you're right, Stanley. I just get on edge sometimes. I'm sorry. You better get going. Okay. Take care of yourself, honey.
Those safes haven't been punched, burned, or peeled, so there's only one other way to get into them. Looks like one of the employees must have gotten a hold of the combination. Well, we can rule that out. Too many other jobs have happened in the same area. This guy's no amateur. Well, listeners about as rare as an Eskimo in Florida. There couldn't be more than a dozen in the country. Why would we waste his time with these small jobs? Because there are so few listeners left. The new combinations are so quiet, you can hardly hear them fall into place, and the ones that have been knocked over would be a pushover for a listener. I run a check, see if we can come up with anybody. Yeah, do that right away. Lunch hours, murder, Stanley. I have to work. I'm going to start looking for a sitting job. Relax. It won't be long now. You found the spot? I think so. Take a little time. Right now, we got to buy another car. Another car? But why? So you can have that sitting job for the rest of your life. Are you and Stanley right? Yeah. What's the matter? We'd like you to come down to headquarters. What for? Just like to talk to you. Well, like I said, I don't have much choice. Is there a warrant? No, there isn't. Get my hat, will you, hon? You mind if I drive my own car? No, not at all. Stanley, you don't have to go if they don't have a warrant. I'm on parole, remember? Don't worry, they don't have a shred of evidence. Look, you call a cab and go down and buy that other car. I'll be back in time for dinner. It says you served time for safe cracking in Chicago and Illinois. Right now you're out on parole. That's right. But when I came in town, I reported as required. Why'd you pick me up? Some violation of parole procedures? Can you account for your time last night? I think so. A week ago last night, were you in Durham? Durham. Well, I haven't been in this area very long. I don't know all the towns around here. A week ago last night. Yes, I'm sure I can account for that night, too. I suppose your wife is your witness. Sure. Only been married a short time. Still kind of honeymooning. We're practically inseparable. What are you living on, right? Your annuities? No. As a matter of fact, I don't have much money. My wife works. But I'm having kind of a tough time finding a job. What kind of a job are you looking for? When you're next con, it's tough to be selective. Yeah, I know. Will that be all? Yeah, for now. Very nice talking to you. He's real cute, isn't he? He'd be just as happy out spotting the police as he would be knocking over his safe. Have a tail put on him 24 hours a day. And started when he walked out the door. You check the safes in the area? Yeah, there's six of them in a 25-mile radius. Five are just like the ones where he'd been hit. Small stores, old-fashioned safes, no alarms. The other's a jewelry store in Amberley. That has an ADT wire to the phone company. I must chance to hit that one. Let's talk to the owners.
1422 to 2150. 2155. Followed suspect to his home. He's inside now. Okay, stay with him. 10 4. 10 4. Stanley, is everything all right? Sure. Told you I'd be home for dinner. Who's he? Oh, just a tail they put on me. Well, what did they say? Nothing much. They didn't have any evidence. But they do suspect you. Sure. They got to do a lot more than suspect me if they want to make an arrest. Well, you can't pull any big jobs now. They'll be watching you like a hawk. Did you get the car? Yes, but you don't have to take it. You didn't tell me what to get, so I told them we'd pick it up tomorrow. We'll take it. I'll need your help and two cars to pull this job. After what's happened, you're out of your mind. Oh, look, I... I don't want to be a waitress, but I don't want to be in jail either. You're not going to be in jail. All you got to do is drive a car and mail a package. Police won't even know what happened. As you know, there have been some safe jobs in the past few weeks. We think he's going to hit again. Yes, I've uh, heard about it, Mr. Matthews. But I doubt if you try ours. The only time the alarm doesn't go off is 9 in the morning and 6 at night when I open it. Well, we'd like to be overly cautious and we need your help. Uh, certainly. Whatever you want me to do. We've talked to the other owners. They've agreed to sprinkle fluorescent powder on the money. It's kind of like marking them. It'll show up in the criminal's hands under certain light. Well, I do have some money in the safe, but it's mostly jeweled. You won't hurt them. Well, glad to be of help. I'll have the lab boys come over and fill you in. Thanks very much. The highway patrol was tailing right around the clock. Four days had gone by and there was nothing unusual to report except Wright's periodic use of a cab instead of his own car. Your friend is still out there. Yeah, I know. Will you give me the number of the church on Highway 14, please? 6283. Thank you. Stanley, will you please tell me what you're up to? The church is going to help me get rid of that tail. Hello. Uh, what time is your next service, please? 11.30, and how long does it last? Thank you. It's 11 now. This is going to work fine. Oh, you got the box? Sure. Has enough postage to go to China. Well, it's better to have too much than not enough. Oh, listen to that cab, will you? I told him to be here in a few minutes. Why the cab? Because we need both cars. That's why I've been taking a cab all week. Now that I really need one, they won't think anything about it. Now, when I leave, you go to that street in back of the church and wait for me. I'll duck out the back way. How are you going to get enough time to get into the jewelry store? Well, if everything works all right, he'll be waiting outside for me when the services are over. That gives me 45 minutes. That's more than enough time. But then what? I'll tell you later. I'll be about 45 minutes.
seize the back of a lot of necks. Let's get going. Fourteen twenty two to headquarters. Go ahead, fourteen twenty two. Fourteen twenty two, follow the suspect to a church on Highway fourteen. Cannot see him inside. He may abduct me. Stay there. Keep in contact. Ten four? Ten four. Stakeout can't be sure whether he gave him the slip or not. The church is pretty crowded. How many times did he use a cab in the past week? Uh, four times. We were wondering why he was using it. Now he's hoping we're not wondering anymore. And we can assume he ducked out of the church. Yeah. Get an APB out and his wife. She could be involved. And I want units to cover every city he could hit. Right. That's why I picked Sunday. Look, it's 11.35 now. Give me three minutes to get inside and 15 minutes to open the safe. 18 minutes. And exactly that time, you drive by. Now, if the alarm goes off, don't let it throw you because it's going to go off when I open that safe. But I can get out of there with the stuff in less than a minute. It'll take them five minutes to get here. 18 minutes. You think of everything, Stan. I have to. All set? Everything's covered except the Herbert Jewelry Store. It takes about 20 minutes to get there. If he's going to hit, it's two to one. That'll be the place. He didn't pull those small jobs for his help. Any other units nearer? Well, the other units covering the other safes. We're the closest. Let's go.
Receive phone company report on the Herbert Jewelry Store alarm sounding. Have all units converge on area. I'm on my way. 10-4. Jewelry store, Highway 14. Stop every vehicle. 1422 to 2150? 2150 by. 1422. Church service is still going on. Should be over in about 15 minutes. Deduction, there's no doubt about it. Couldn't be anybody else. Stand by. 10-4. They've been robbed? No, I just want to talk to you. Always glad to cooperate with the police. There's my car. Well, just a minute. Hey, yeah, buddy, I won't need you anymore. Just a minute. All part of the service? That's right. the sermon right? Fine. Should have heard it. Let me see your hands. Bring the light. Lesson powder is used for a lot of things. Yeah, it sure is. It's all over your wife's hands in the package you didn't get the mail. Honey, I knew it wouldn't work. I told you we couldn't get away with it. You should have stayed and listened to the sermon. Take him away. Highway Patrol again next week. Until then, remember, reckless driving doesn't determine who's right, only who's left. This is Roderick Crawford saying, see you next week.